All right, so in uh, the last couple of videos, we went ahead and set up our workspace and we created a couple different layers um, to go ahead and get ready to prep and edit. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and add an adjustment layer to change that background, okay? Now, if you're not familiar with adjustment layers, uh, adjustment layers are basically effects and tools that you can add to different layers that um, adjust the layer, hence the name adjustment layer, right? And so how we're gonna do that is we're gonna come um, we're going to select our working layer and then down here in this little icons panel there's this little guy right here a little half circle that's you know half white uh, half dark and if you click that it give it gives you the option of all these adjustments that you can add to a different layer right um, hence the name adjustment layer so if you come up here and you clicked on the brightness contrast you can come up here and adjust the brightness right you could change the contrast. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. And I'm gonna come down here and just select another one. Uh, we could do uh, exposure, right? So you can adjust the exposure of the image. Uh, you could adjust the offset, the gamma, so on and so forth. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through all of these um, adjustment layers. They all could have like a dedicated video all in themselves. Um, but for our purposes, we want to make sure that we're, we have the working layer selected and we're going to add a hue saturation layer, right? Which if we come up here and we select hue saturation, um, it creates this layer, right? And what that does is because we want to make the background black and white, uh, which means we want to remove the hue or the color or the saturation, we would use a hue saturation layer, all right? Now, when this layer pops up, uh, there's a couple things to note. Uh, it creates a mask automatically, and uh, we won't be actually using masks uh, for the hue saturation layer, but we will later on. So just to kind of break it down, uh, when you um, create an effect on a layer, right? Like this working layer, we have a hue saturation layer. If you adjust something, let's just say we're gonna, I don't know, move the slider over. Let's say we're gonna create a purple hue on this image, right? But we don't want the purple hue on the entire image. Uh, we would go ahead and mask out that effect. And that's what this white window is. It's a masking layer. And I will get more into masking um, here in a moment, but basically just to kind of let you know is that when you mask something, you are hiding an effect or you're showing effect. And in Photoshop, uh, a couple of key things to remember is that uh, black conceals and white reveals, okay? So if we come over here to our hue saturation layer and we just moved a couple of these sliders and we have this purple tint here, um, well, that's awesome, but I don't want the tint on everything. Maybe I just want it on her face, right? So right now, the entire mask is white. So that means that it's going to show on the entire image. Now, if I wanted it to be removed from the entire image, I could come over here, click on the mask, and I can make the entire um, mask black, right? And I can do that by hitting Control-I, right? So did you see that? I inverted the mask, and the effect disappeared, right? Because black conceals, white reveals. So I have a black mask, the hue saturation, you can't see it, but if I come over here and I grab a brush, just like just say a white brush, okay? Get my brush tool here and I paint on her face. See, now you can see over here in the mask, everywhere I painted white, it's showing that effect, okay? And so you can come over here, you can mouse over the, the mask, you can hold Alt or Option and click, and then you can see the mask that you created, right? So if you needed to adjust the mask, you could do that. Um, and you can come back over here to the mask, hold Alt or Option and click off, and then you can see what you've done. So uh, 
that's just a real quick introduction to mask. We'll get more into that here in a moment, but I just kind of wanted to let you know whenever you create an adjustment layer, it automatically creates a mask right along with it because most of the time when you're using an adjustment layer, you don't want it to affect the whole layer. Um, in the effect that we're going for, we do want it to affect the whole layer, but um, that's how you use that. So you create the effect you want or the adjustment using an adjustment effect here. It creates a layer mask, and if the whole adjustment layer is white, the effect will be visible. If the whole adjustment layer is black, it will be invisible. And then how you make it visible is you just paint the opposite color, right? So it's black, so I, if I want it to be visible, I come get a white brush and I paint, right? I paint on the image. Now if I came back over here, clicked on the adjustment layer, mask, and I um, inverted it by holding um, Control or Command I. Now look what I did. I inverted the mask, right? So now the whole rest of the image has a purple tint, but her face doesn't have the effect. Because if I look over here, white reveals and black conceals. So white showing the entire effect and black is hiding the entire effect, okay? So if I wanted to have more of the effect show up, uh, I would just paint, right? So right now I could come over here and write, this black is in the middle, so I'm gonna come over here, switch my brush, and see if I just painted more on her hands. Anywhere I paint, that's gonna go away. And you can look at our mask over here by holding Alt or Option, clicking on it, and that's our mask, okay? So that's a little crash course in terms of adjustment layers and masks. I just wanted to lay that out there for you because it will be important as we um, move forward here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come up to this hue saturation layer and I'm going to delete this, okay? Because we're not going to be masking um, this layer. We will be masking this layer, um, but that will be in the upcoming videos. For this layer, we want to go ahead and just remove color and hue from the whole image, okay? So with our working layer selected, we're going to come down to the adjustments layer button. We're going to click it come up here to hue saturation and that gives you all these little sliders right so saturation basically means how much of the image is uh, visible right how saturated is the image with color so we want to remove all of the color from this image so it's really a simple effect we can just come over here click our little slider and we're going to move the saturation all the way to the left, all right? And you can see what that did. It removed the color from the entire image. So again, how did we achieve that effect? We came over to our layers panel. We clicked our working layer. We added an adjustment layer by adding a hue saturation layer. We click on this little icon right here and the panel shows up, right? You can always double click on that little icon and the panel will show up. By default, it should show up over here, but de depending upon your screen size and whatnot, it might pop out over here in the middle. Um, but you can always adjust um, the settings for each adjustment layer by clicking on its little icon, all right? And then we came up here and we adjusted the slider all the way to the left, okay? Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and pin that to this working layer. So this adjustment layer that we um, added, we want it to only affect this layer. And we're gonna do that by clipping it. So you can come up here, see this little icon, and you can clip it. And what that does is it basically means that this adjustment layer will only affect this layer, okay? Which right now we don't have that many layers, so it's not that big of a deal, but it's just a good habit to get into is to clip your adjustment layer to the layer that you want it to be affected, okay? Uh, you can also do this, so if I come back up here and I unclip that, you can also move um, and just kind of like right between the layers, you can hold Alter Option and this little icon shows up over here with a down pointer and you can click and that clips it or unclips it, okay? So you can use, hold Alter Option kind of like between the two layers click and click to either clip it or unclip it, or you can come up to the actual panel and click this, okay? So that's pretty much it for right now. We've uh, removed all of the color from our background. 
uh, we've added a hue saturation layer. We've clipped it to the layer we want, and I gave you a little bit of a crash course on uh, masking because every adjustment layer that you create by default comes with a mask, and it's just good to understand what a mask does, and we will get into that more in the upcoming videos. So I will see you then.